Oh my gosh, the food baby is real right now. That was definitely over eight pounds of pizza and a lot of cheese. It's about 108 degrees outside and there's no chance in hell that I'm gonna be staying in my car tonight. Conveniently, there's a hotel right across the street or actually like 50 feet away from this pizza place. Let's go see if they have a room. Um, I don't have a reservation or anything, but I was wondering if you guys could open one of our normal single rooms. For one adult? Yeah. Alright, so we got us a room. Should be over here. Why? I just ate you. I don't want you as my key. Air conditioning. Oh, gosh. Oh, I swear. Shit I do sometimes. Moments later. Strong. Strong. Even stronger right there. Even stronger right there. Silly American vending machines. Still deathly hot outside. I need a Slurpee. I need to go to sleep. I just realized I put my lid on wrong, but doesn't really matter. Mango. At this point, anything sweet just tastes good. The next day. Oh. Well guys, it's the day after pizza, and um, let me just say I'm glad I stayed in the hotel last night, and I got about two hours of sleep. On the plus side though, I don't feel like total shit. This morning the eclipse was actually out, but I didn't get to make it to Oregon, and I'm actually kind of glad I didn't get to make it to Oregon because apparently it's impossible to even move in Oregon right now. So I'm going to head up to Oregon now in the hopes that the traffic has cleared up by the time I get up there. It's about 10.30 right now. Days after challenges like that, guys, where I eat a lot of sodium, a lot of fat, a lot of carbs, not really that many carbs. Well, I guess it was kind of a lot of carbs, but you guys get it. Um, I kind of just prefer to just do nothing and drive. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. But first we need coffee. Perfect way to start the day. It's gonna be a long ass drive. Let's just say my body's really, really weird. So I just spent eight and a half hours in a car. Granted, yesterday I ate a gigantic pizza, sat on my ass all day, but I'm really, really tired. And I still managed to get a PR. I'm stoked I hit 195 pounds for five reps on my bench press. I, I got it for the first set at five reps, and for the next two sets, I got three reps out of them. But guys, I'm just so stoked to finally get past a plateau. I can't believe I did that after eight and a half hours in the gym. I'm going to go to Walmart right now because guess where I'm sleeping tonight? And I'm really, really hungry, so I'm probably gonna get some food too. Got some snacks. I don't like seeing patrols like that. It's never a good thing. Alrighty, so let me just say that I am starving. All I have to eat on it is this Tupperware container right here, so I'm trying to make it happen. I honestly, guys, didn't get too much. I got a challenge coming up tomorrow I'm here in Oregon, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get kicked out of this Walmart. Even if I do get kicked out, I'm gonna try my hardest to not freak out, and uh, I'll try to find some other place to sleep. Cheers. 
I'm going to attempt to go to sleep now. I'm going to be aiming for a challenge tomorrow. Cheers, guys. It's been one hell of a day. So guess who got kicked out of Walmart? Not once. Not once. But twice last night. And guess where I'm sleeping right now. That, folks, is Burger King. Home of the fucking Whopper. Shout out to the king. Cheers. <sighs> kind of sucks because I know for a fact that I'm probably not going to get a PR today. I'm gonna go deadlift in probably about an hour. Just because guys, when I get s no sleep like that, I probably get about two hours of sleep last night. I just feel like shit, whatever. I'm gonna be doing a challenge today anyways, so. <laughs> Who cares? Um, I will see you guys a little bit. Well, just got done with my workout, and guess what? My battery's dead. Something always seems to want to go wrong. Moments later. Well, new wheels for uh, the next two days. Gotta love it. And I can't believe I'm doing this, but I'm literally gonna go do a challenge right now. After I just spent four hours trying to get my car serviced, well, towed, and you guys get it. We're gonna get a scale zone. Let's do it. All right, guys, so I'm gonna do my little intro right here. So I'm on the way to Opa Pizzeria. Now this is a pizza place in Portland, Oregon, guys. And they do a very, very famous, well, not so famous, but they do a food challenge, everybody. And that is a calzone challenge. I've always wanted to do a calzone challenge, guys. I just did a pizza challenge. I know, I know, I know. But who cares? It's not really pizza, even though it technically kind of is pizza. What this challenge consists of is a four to seven pound calzone. She didn't really give me an exact weight. I do believe I get an hour to do this. It's either an hour or 30 minutes to eat this calzone. If I do, I get it for free. And of course, like always, eternal glory. I did let everybody know on my Instagram and social media that I'm gonna be going to do this right now. So I'm expecting a few uh, subscribers to show up and cheer me on. I'll see you guys when I get there. Can I just get whatever I want in the calzone? How does it work? So you have to choose one of these seven calzones. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, you can't really do any substitutions other than like maybe a meat for a meat. Okay. Um, and then it's a small pizza crust and a large pizza crust. That's the whole topic. Okay, what's the biggest one I can get? She said that she said on the phone it was between four to seven pounds. Yeah. So I don't want to get like the smallest one yeah. ever. Um, so the smaller ones are going to be the more veggie. Oh, I heard the hero one is really, really good. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the hero. Yeah. Like, well, sounds really good. Inter introduce yourself first. Yep. Introduce yourself. Yeah, my name is Adam Dombrowski, Portland, Oregon. Boom. How long have you been subscri subscribed to the channel? About two years now. Boom. That yeah, is loyalty, my, my friends. He's yeah. gonna be doing the calzone challenge with calzone me. Challenge. I suggest that he get the hero. Get what I get because it's like it's garlic. Oh, yeah. you garlic? Yes. Okay, then you get to get it. Well, and like, yeah, it's like, you know, we've, we've seen him do stuff that's like 10 times oh, that. Like Food challenge calzone. <laughs> Normal calzone. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so we are here. We are ready to go. We're at Opa's Pizza, Pizzeria, and we're in downtown Portland right now. Go ahead and introduce yourself. What's your Instagram? Uh, I, I actually don't know what my Instagram is. Oh. <laughs> I use it so infrequently, Herbal Adam though. Herbal Adam. You gotta hit that up. Uh, Adam is a little subscriber of mine and he is doing the Calzone Challenge with me. What is your, uh, what do you think? How fast do you think you're gonna do this? Yeah, you gotta give me at least three hours for this. Four or five hours? <laughs> Whatever he doesn't eat, I'll eat too. Guys, we have 30 minutes to do this. Um, I have, I think I'm probably gonna need some more sauce. We have uh, marinara sauce right here. And we also have tzatziki sauce. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Do you think that's, that's probably not gonna be enough sauce, but whatever. Yeah. I have uh, my Diet Coke, of course, because I do have to wash my figure with this challenge. Yeah. We're starting right now at three. Well, my, my compadre over there has already started without me, but three, two. Cheers, my friend. Cheers.
you cruise it. You gotta have two turns now. This is, the most, sure is. this is the most glorious sport in the world, okay? Amen to that. Alright guys, so we're at 8 minutes 11 seconds right now. You feeling okay? I'm okay. You okay? Yeah, yeah it's, it's breaking that. apart on me right now. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Go right ahead.